chapter set 2.2 question 1 solve the following quadratic equations by factorization we have a first equation as 6x minus 2 by x equals to 1 multiplying the above equation by x because we have x in denominator therefore after multiplying we get the equation as 6x square minus 2 equals to x Convert this into ax square plus bx plus c. We get 6x square minus x minus 2 equals to 0. When we multiply 6 into minus 2, we get minus 12. Also, we want minus 1. Consider the factors minus 4 and plus 3. If we multiply minus 4 into plus 3, we get minus 12. Also, minus 4 plus 3 equals to minus 1. Therefore, 6x square minus 4x plus 3x minus 2 equals to 0. Now divide it into 2 and taking common. After taking common we get the final equation as 2x plus 1 into 3x minus 2 equals to 0. Therefore after solving separately we get the value of x for the first equation as minus 1 by 2 and second as 2 by 3. Therefore x equals to minus 1 by 2 and 2 by 3 is the solution. Our next equation is 3x square minus 2 root 6x plus 2 equals to 0. Here a equals to 3 and c equals to 2. Therefore 3 into 2 is equal to 6. This can be written as root 6 into root 6. This is the part of identity. So the factors are minus root 6 and minus root 6. When we add minus root 6 minus root 6, we get minus 2 root 6. And when multiplied, we get only 6. Therefore, our equation is 3x square minus root 6x minus root 6x plus 2 equals to 0. Now divide the equation. After dividing, we get the separate equation as 3x square minus root 6x plus minus root 6x plus 2 equals to 0. We also know that root 6 can be written as root 3 into 2. That is root 3 into root 2. Similarly, 3 can be written as root 3 into root 3 and 2 can be written as root 2 into root 2. Therefore, the above equation forms root 3 into root 3x square minus root 3 into root 2x plus minus root 3 into root 2x plus root 2 into root 2 equals to 0. Taking common, we get root 3x minus root 2 into root 3x minus root 2 equals to 0. After solving, we get the final answer as x equals to root 2 by root 3. This equation has a common root so x equal to root 2 by root 3 and x equal to root 2 by root 3 are the roots of the quadratic equation. Solution of a quadratic equation by completing the square. A quadratic equation can also be solved by converting the equation in the form a plus b the whole square and a minus b the whole square. Consider the equation. 5x square minus 4x minus 3 equals to 0. Steps to follow are first, in the equation ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0, a should be 1. If not, then divide the equation with a. In the equation 5x square minus 4x minus a equals to 0. When divided by 5, we get x square minus 4 by 5x minus 3 by 5 equals to 0. Compare the equation with a square minus 2ab plus b square formula for a minus b the whole square. Here, a equals to x, particularly comparing the first two elements 4 by 5x to ab. If we solve this, we get b equals to 2 by 5. Step 3. Adding and subtracting 2 by 5 the whole square, that is 4 by 25 to the equation. Step 4. The equation can be written as x square minus 4 by 5x plus 4 by 25 minus 3 by 5 plus 4 by 25 equals to 0. The negative sign is taken common so we get plus sign in the second bracket. We get the formula as x minus 2 by 5 the whole square minus root of 19 by 5 the whole square equals to 0. Step 6. By the formula a square minus b square equals to a plus b into a minus b, we get x minus 2 by 5 plus root 19 by 5 into x minus 2 by 5 minus root 19 by 5 equals to 0. Step 7. 
x minus 2 by 5 plus root 19 by 5 is equal to 0 and x minus 2 by 5 minus root 19 by 5 equals to 0. Therefore, step 8, we get x equal to 2 plus root 19 by 5 and x is equal to 2 minus root 19 by 5. Practice set 2.3. Solve the following quadratic equations by completing the square method. Question 4. 9y square minus 12y plus 2 equals to 0. Let's solve this solution. Dividing by 9 the entire equation, we get y square minus 12 by 9y plus 2 by 9 equals to 0. We'll name this as equation 1. Comparing 12 by 9y with 2ab and finding b. Here, a equals to y. Comparing y square minus 12 by 9y plus 2 by 9 equals to a square minus 2ab plus b square. 12 by 9y equals to 2yb. Therefore, b equals to 6 by 9. Therefore, b square becomes 4 by 9. Adding and subtracting 4 by 9 in equation 1, we get y square minus 12 by 9y plus 2 by 9 plus 4 by 9 minus 4 by 9 equals to 0. Therefore, after further solving, we get the equation as y minus 2 by 3 the whole square minus root 2 by 3 the whole square equals to 0. Now, applying the formula a square minus b square equals to a plus b into a minus b, we get y minus 2 by 3 plus root 2 by 3 into y minus 2 by 3 minus root 2 by 3 equals to 0. Separating, we get y minus 2 by 3 plus root 2 by 3 equals to 0 and y minus 2 by 3 minus root 2 by 3 equals to 0. Therefore, y equals to 2 minus root 2 by 3 and y equals to 2 plus root 2 by 3 are the roots of the quadratic equation using the completing the square method. Thank you for watching the academic squad.